Welcome to my Killjoy setup guide on Split. If you don't know who I am, my name is Keo, and I am a Radiant Killjoy main. And this is the first episode of many videos I'm trying to release of my updated Killjoy guides. If you're in a game right now, check the description below. This video is timestamped, so you can jump to whatever site you want, attack or defense. So if you're new to the Keo Plus channel here, please consider subscribing. And if you want to watch any of my Killjoy gameplay live, go to twitch.tv slash Keo. I'd love to see you there. All right, so there's a couple different setups that I like to do when playing Killjoy on B site here. So one of my favorite turrets to do is right up here on rafters because you can play around it in so many different ways. Again, turret C in 180 degrees. So it'll see everything from directly here to directly here, meaning that it's able to watch B main and B heaven with one piece of info. Basically, in every situation possible, you wanna play off your turret so that when they start shooting your turret, you're able to take contact and trade out your turret as if it was another player. One of the funnest ways that I like to do is on full buy rounds, I'll go up right on this edge here and the turret actually takes first contact, whether it's in garage or on B heaven, and they really don't expect you to be up here. So after, if they come in B heaven, they break your turret. You can either wait for them to peek you or just swing them because who expects you to come out of rafters from this side? <laughs> it's a very good place to play. Depending upon how the other team is playing, if they're getting really aggressive in mid, what I like to do is at the very start of the round, the bide barrier drops and I throw a molly right into this corner and then an alarm bot behind it. And you used to be able to throw a molly into this corner, but they, uh, they patched that because, well, uh, I toaster oven to too many people. But so what I can do instead is actually just put this right cl very close to it. And it pretty much does the same job where if the alarm bot goes off and they're rushing in very fast, you pop this molly, you pop this molly, and there's not a lot of space for them to be safe in this room. And that basically either forces them to make a poor decision and run into you where you can hopefully kill them while they're weak hit by the alarm bot, or they have to back out in mid and then that gives your team time to rotate for when they re-hit through heaven. Another good spot to put the alarm bot is, of course, B main. Generally, how people push split is by throwing a sage wall out to cross here. So what I like to do is put my mollies a little bit farther back so that when they're actually fully out here, this really disrupts their flow of pushing in. And hopefully I can catch somebody that's beyond the molly. I'm trying to use my mollies to separate people so that I can catch somebody off guard, get a free kill, give my team that 5v4, and then we can kind of retake, regroup together. You can kind of just like play it by ear depending upon what they're having and if they have a jet that's dashing in a lot i'd even put an alarm bot all the way back here and then you know pop the molly there's a lot of things you can do it really depends on what the team comp is so so a really cool technique that you can use actually with killjoy is that you can use your turret to boost you in corners that people will not expect you in generally what i like to do with this setup is i will put my alarm bot already in b heaven and then i will turret boost myself like this in the corner and then he can jump up back and then look, you're in a position that almost nobody clears. The amount of kills I get for free is amazing using this tech <laughs> because nobody expects you as Killjoy to be on top of double boxes here. So even if they clear close, they might miss you here. So I do this at least once a game on defense and I get two to three free kills out of it. It's amazing. All right, quickly, let's talk about the retakes you should do on B. So if you have your ultimate ability, the two main places you should be putting this on B site is back here. This is a little bit difficult to hold because they could definitely throw some util and break it really easily with like a raisinate or something. A little more risky place that, but will definitely guarantee you a round win if it goes off is if you have control of heaven with your team and you retake this part of sight, you can put your ultimate ability down right here and it covers all of sight and it forces the enemies to actually push all the way out here. And at that point, you can fold the fuse no matter what. That is one of the best ultimates in the game if you can pull it off, especially if they have a sage wall here, they have to pretty much only come out here to kill the ult. So if they are unable to do that, it is a free round win. All right, let's go ahead and move on to A side defense. There's a lot of different things we can do here. Uh, first off, my favorite turret to do, just because again, the amount of info you get out of it is on top of these boxes here, because if they push up to A ramp, you're gonna see them. The turret will play for that. And if they push out of vent, if you lose that mid control and they play out here, the turret again will see them. This basically just covers all of your flanks consistently. And that's really your job as a sentinel is to make sure that people aren't gonna be able to lurk in on your site. So with this turret, again, you wanna try to have some info on A main. You'd probably play on A site or even screen or back heaven. That's normally how I play Killjoy on A site, but you put the alarm bot nice and close. And then if you put a molly in between these two lines here, you're actually gonna find the midpoint of this little spot. So if your alarm bot goes off, you can pop this molly. They are unable to be here. And what I do is I pair it with a molly actually on this side as well, so that it really blocks them off and kind of creates a choke for them where they either have to push in, taking a ton of damage, or they have to back out 
giving your time your team more time to rotate after they've run into that setup a couple times or maybe once and they're starting to break your util what i like to do is switch it up put the alarm bot a little bit farther out and then i'll put my mollies on site here so that it stops them from being able to push on site so they get aggressive they don't think you're playing a and then boom alarm bot goes off you pop these mollies they either have to push you on site or they have to keep pushing elbow so this is a really good time to play elbow here because then you can get somebody most likely not expecting you to swing out here and kill them here's a couple other turret spots and alarm bot spots you could also put an alarm bot up here to do the same thing as the turret where it's just walking this is a little bit better to catch those pesky cypher lurks because in case they start caging off the turret or you know smoking it off somehow you can put an alarm bot there it catches the rope and the heaven rotates another turret i really miss is the, they used to have a rafter here and it was so fun to put a turret on top and then play under it because then you could swing off it but you can still do the same thing with the turret but you can just do it a little less effectively by when they break the turret you swing out from this side and catch them off guard a good turret i like to use for pistol round is right here because this is just farther away it's kind of harder for them to break the turret right away anytime in a pistol round you can put the turret farther away than you normally would put it is a great idea because it just any extra chip damage you can do on pistol rounds is super helpful some people aren't gonna like me about this one because I'm a, I'm a ranked player i don't care about vct i don't care about the pro play because this is technically what you would call an illegal molly in pro play but basically you can do a jump throw and right click this out of the map it's very hard to kill but it still does damage to people sitting in this corner and if anyone plays killjoy you might know where i'm going with this because you could throw one of those mollies and then put your ultimate down in this corner to retake and then they are forced back into a corner and when the mollies <laughs> when the ult's about to go off you pop the molly and they have a decision to make am i gonna tank a bunch of damage or get detained and most of the time it doesn't work out for them if you're not a fan of throwing mollies out of the map i do have a lineup for this so after you place the, the ultimate in the corner you can actually go to this part stand yourself back in the corner here and you can look at the bottom part of the glass do a jump throw with a molly jump throws i really don't like doing because sometimes they're a bit inconsistent but once you get it down that lands back in the corner and is a little bit more fair play all right let's move over to attack as kills right here let's go for a site right now the first thing that i like to do on attack rounds is normally i'll throw a turret and just kind of jump peek Hopefully your team swings with you in case somebody's peeking close, but this gives you a lot of information right away, peeking yeah. screens in case somebody's holding or even potentially peeking you from elbow. So basically you can play off of this turret a little bit for a little bit and kind of feel out a lot of info with only one person. So as soon as you get that turret down, you can have your teammate rot rotate off. I'll even do this by myself. It's normally not that risky unless people are playing really aggressive on defense, but as I'm holding this angle and my turret is holding it with me, obviously my turret will do damage to them if anyone peeks. And if somebody peeks ramp i'm gonna know so i'm not gonna get snuck up on here and i can help and you know finish somebody off there after that when you push into a site i generally like to put an alarm bot here and i pair it with a molly so as soon as that goes off i just want to deter anyone from coming out this choke point so that if they're trying to do a coordinated push together where somebody comes out of heaven and somebody comes out of screen together they can't do that they're like mollied off for a second we kill the guy heaven and then we can you know refight this guy after that molly's worn off and then for ultimates on a site the best one to do is just put it in this corner and then when i do this and smokes are down obviously at this point uh, i like to throw a molly just to kind of have them take some damage Damage if they're trying to leave site from elbow this just again gets that extra chip damage could be the difference in you winning the round but it's a very good ultimate to take the site together if you happen to get a lot of control and you're stalling for time and a good ultimate to do is putting it in hell they're most likely going to get aggressive and push this one because if they don't they're pretty much going to lose the round with how much time this stalls if you do it at the right time they have to push all the way back into their spawn where they're buying guns or all the way back to mid and it's just such a huge time waste if you do it at the right time they're gonna make some poor decisions and then you end up getting some free kills out of it so even if your ult doesn't go off it could be a really good spot to use that and now for mid if you're playing mid on attack here uh, i generally come out of sewer because then you can put your turret very safely behind boxes here and then if it peaks or, or somebody peaks on top of a sage wall or they're swinging out here your turret's just going to be there to help you so for attack you basically just want your turret to be a little extra information extra chip damage you can't really use it in the same way that you do on defense unless you've already got out on a site because on defense again you want to play it like it's a person and just bait it and swing you know so on attack you kind of use it a little more aggressively for info you can even use it just to be pushing up and then, you know, clear corners for you. Put a turret down and then swing when I start to break it. It's really a very good ability that not a lot of people use aggressively. Um, when I'm pushing through mid, generally for the team, I'll throw an alarm bot here if we're taking B Heaven, just because then that's, you know, always holding our vent rotate so we don't get flanked behind us really quickly. Then we can take it back and then I can put a turret behind us here. You can put uh, the defense turret. You have a lot of options to put your turret down wherever you want. And vice versa, if you're going vent to A, you could put an alarm bot on B male. And on a B attack here, I like to put a turret down here. 
this just allows us to watch our flank and then you can do this right before the round starts I, the reasons i put it out here is because the buy barrier is right here and this will actually peak main for you at the very beginning of the round so that if somebody like a jet is opping this angle right away your turret takes that first contact and then after you wait a second make sure they're not opping you can kind of swing in here and then you're good you could actually leave the turret there for the entirety of the round because this is also like we said before turret c in 180 degrees if somebody flanks out here they're going to be seen by the turret, which is great. So obviously, if you're a Killjoy main, you know that this is a very good ultimate in the game. Putting your Killjoy ults on B main. This clears all of heaven for you. Most of sight. So if you take it together, they'll most likely, or they might have one, one or two people back here. But if they're there and they have to fight everyone pushing out at the same time, it's a very low chance that they survive that. So as long as you do a coordinated push with that, it can be one of the best ultimates in the game for taking space. And then when you do take space, there are a couple good molly spots you can use that are just a little less expected. So what I like to do is actually put a molly around this corner because this actually still covers default if they plan to default. So if you pop the molly, you're gonna take damage while trying to defuse and they're most likely not gonna be able to run up and see that you have a molly on bomb right away and break it. So that's a really good spot to do it. And you can even put it like farther back. It's not really that precise. And and obviously just playing lineups for post plan is always a really good idea using your alarm bot on the bomb wherever that is pairing it with a molly just as soon as the alarm bots activated pop the molly and then vice versa waste more time with the second one you know the basics of killjoy now that we've gone over attacking and defending and some retakes let's talk about a little bit of killjoy lineups the first one i'm bringing it back this map got changed and it ruined my lineup but i found another one basically you're gonna look here line it up with the right diamond here with your molly throw icon and then boom this is a really good molly to stall for that planting situation on defense very very good and it's nice it covers a lot of ground here we love to see those things and then for attacking post plant on a side i like to go back of this staircase these lineups are a little weird you kind of just have to go into a custom game and figure out exactly how it feels to you um but i'm looking at this spot with the diamonds here and then i go up to a little bit right of it and this will land right to default which is very nice and then you can kind of do the same thing where you're looking at the about the same spot in the sky again i'm just kind of lining it up with the diamonds but then i move it over and down a little bit because we're gonna throw this lineup into this corner here in case they planted for backside which actually is a really a much better spot to play if you're playing post plant with killjoy again lineups with killjoy are not as effective as like viper or brimstone because you have to activate them and sometimes they get broken so you can't ever really know but these can still be really good and useful in a 1v1 situation because if you throw a lineup and they break the molly you know that they're off bomb and they have to tap bomb again. So there's a lot of mind games you can play and the strategy around it. But with this lineup, uh, I'm looking at basically the same spot. And then I just look at the line in the sky because this is perfectly at the corner of the back site. So then we bring it down a little bit because we're throwing it farther. And then that should work right there to go into the back corner. Very nice. And that covers just so much ground. Mollies are so good. Ugh. Killjoy is such a good agent. Alrighty, and that about wraps up my full updated Killjoy guide on Split. Let me know what you think about this in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all the other maps and our my updated Killjoy guides. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know how it goes in your ranked games.